Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our pre-conference podcast of Future Bridge. My name is Olga and today's episode is dedicated to second edition of energy transition and emission reduction for metal and mining industry. This forum will happen upcoming January in Toronto, Canada. We are very excited about this edition. My uh, great honor is to welcome my guest today and I'm happy to introduce you to Mike Kwashi uh, of Arcos Power. Mike, thank you very much to, for joining me today. Uh, I'm uh, super happy you're here with us today. Thank you for having me, Olga. Mike, we we have uh, several questions prepared for you. We are very excited and cannot wait to ask you. I'm, I'm very excited, cannot wait to ask you and to learn more about yourself and your role in Arcus Power. So if you don't mind, please let us know more about Arcus Power and your role there. Yes, yeah, so Arcus is an energy market intelligent firm that supports commercial uh, cl uh, in the clients across wide range of industries to reduce their operating costs and also lower their carbon footprint. Arcus services um, are delivered in our industry leading SaaS solutions. We have Energy Stream, which is a customizable platform for streaming historic and real-time energy data and analytics. And then we have Power Stream, which is a powerful predictive um, forecast and energy cost management toolkit that optimizes price forecasting, demand forecasting, and um, coincident peak shaving. And then finally, we've got the carbon Carbon Stream, which is a cost decision support tool for environmental and sustainability mandate, utilizing dynamic tracking and forecasting of grade and on-site emission. Um, Arcos is uniquely, um, Arcos uniquely like utilizes this IP that allows um, us to tailor our systems to the unique operational needs and economic demands of our clientele. My role at Arcos is um, the chief modeling officer. Basically, I lead all the model development and analytics work at Arcos. Thank you very much for your reply here. Um, we are excited about your presentation and uh, I can tell here already that you're going to be talking about the role of artificial intelligence in the reduction of on-site emission and energy cost. Um, would you be able to give us here a bit of sneak peek, like a trailer, movie trailer? What do you expect from your presentation? Sure, Olga. I'll be excited to um, give a little bit of um, sneak peek into my presentation. So as a, um, someone coming from a mining town, I'm privy to the evolution of mining operations over the past few decades to adapt um sustainable mining ways and also the industry's commitment to reducing their carbon footprint. Um, and also with um, the influx of um, data science and AI, um, there's the need for us to explore how we could um, apply this in, in, in facilitating the industry's mandates or commitment to greenhouse gas emission. So what I'll be looking at is um, how do how do we utilize AI to facilitate our effort towards um, um, reducing greenhouse gas emission and then also um, sustainable mining, pro, um, achieving sustainable mining operations. So already industries are already looking at um, installing renewables on site. They are also looking at um, um, uh, in, um, instituting efficient energy management um, systems on site. Um, all this um, effort could easily be complement, complemented with AI. So when I say complement, when you take like, let's say, installing renewable energy, for instance, for you to be able to know how much energy output is coming out of your renew renewables, let's say solar or wind, you need a very good forecast of your output because these um, generation outputs are driven by on are driven by sto stochastic variables or uncertain variables. Like when you take wind energy, for instance, it's driven by wind speed. 
when you take solar energy, it's driven by solar isolation. And these are different and very difficult um, variables to predict. So utilizing AI, you could easily predict the output of these uh, resources so that you could have better planning. That's one, one, one area. The other aspect is also has to do with like operational changes, right? Once you like, let's say, you know, electricity prices, if you have a good insight into electricity prices, you know when to schedule your shift changes. So where you, when, if you know electricity prices are going to be very expensive at two o'clock, you could have your shift changes at two o'clock or you could have your lunch breaks at two o'clock. So you reduce um, your uh, operations during that time so that you save on electricity. And then thirdly, if you have like on-site generation or on-site activities, being able to forecast how much generation is coming out of the grid, which can easily be linked to your the carbon emission of the grid uh, power. Having a good uh, insight into that, you could easily um, plan your operation in a way that could uh, reduce your carbon footprint. So I'll be talking more into details about how we, what what steps you be you could could be taking to achieve all this. So. Yeah, uh, I, I just leave it there so that I mean, when you come to the conference, you get more 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 into what I'm talking about. Exactly, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, I'm more than sure that uh, our audience is excited about your presentation and uh, to meet you in person in Toronto and to to hear more. Uh, about uh, how artificial intelligence can help in uh, reducing uh, on-site emissions and actually to hear some case studies as well. Uh, my next question, and I, I believe that's going to be a final question for today, is uh, working with mining industry uh, right now, uh, what kind of challenges you observe that are uh, connected with, so let's say, artificial intelligence and, and reduction of emissions, if you can share. Yeah, so mining industries are energy intensive um, uh, industry. They, they use a lot of energy and then the operations are driven, are supported by energy intensive um, uh, machin machinery. So one of the one of the areas well one of the challenges of the mining industry is like how do we commit to greenhouse emission and then at the same time maintain our energy cost or deliver a, a more efficient way of mining to uh, sometimes it becomes difficult trying to couple so some people think it's difficult trying to couple this solution but what um I see, or uh, what we at Akos is doing is that uh, we're trying to make it, we're trying to demystify the challenges uh, around that. What we're saying that you can, you can be committed to greenhouse gas emission reduction, and at the same time achieve an efficient way of operating or uh, 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 maintain your operating costs. And how do you do that? Um, one way of doing that is that to have visibility of all these cost components, right? Most, most of the time you have people um, purchasing or being committed to reducing energy, energy costs and then taking, taking steps to reduce energy costs and they don't see how their efforts translate into or impact their carbon emission. So in, in our course, we are developing a holistic approach or we're developing a tool that provides you visibility into all the various cost components. So when you're using AI to predict um, what the prices of energy is, uh, we're also giving you an insight into what the generation of your province, let's say if you are great connected, what the generation output is, is and how that generation output links to your carbon emission mandate. So by providing you visibility into all the cost components or how your, the efforts or the steps that you take it, links or relate to various cost components of the industry, you'll be able to make the right right decision. You'll be able to couple your mandate for greenhouse uh, gas emission um, with your operating cost and then maintain an, an efficient operation, operation or reduce um, energy um, bill at the same time reducing your greenhouse um, gas em emission. So what, 
what um, in conclusion, what we're trying to do or what how I see as uh, um, solving this problem is to provide a holistic tool that provides visibility into all the various cost components in, on the mining sites. And in that way, you'll be able to take solutions that are really impactful and that facilitate your commitment to achieve all these mandates. Great, thank you very much for answering my final question here. We are looking forward to meet you in person in Toronto and uh, hear more about uh, the tool that will help to have this holistic approach uh, to reduction of on-site emissions. Thank you, Mike, to, for being with us today. Uh, we're looking forward to meet you in Toronto. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, for having me. And it's my pleasure to be with you. And I look forward to meeting your audience in person in Toronto. Thank you. Mm -hmm.